Welcome back everybody to the channel. My name is Surshoppin and today we are going to be analyzing the new Tempesta series of weapons that just released in game. This is a follow up video to my previous upload that went through every Rotem weapon series and highlighted each weapon and where they hold value. So if you haven't seen that video I advise you to go check that out first. A lot of the comparisons we will be making today are reflective of the data we discovered in that video. The Tempesta series offers 303 attack at max enhancement, it applies wind elemental damage to enemies, and requires level 25 to equip. This elemental damage will apply an additional 15% damage to enemies weak to wind, and 10% damage to enemies not weak to wind. The item potential is called Valorous Unit. At level 4 it provides 14% potency and unleashes an extra attack inflicting an elemental down by re-attacking the enemy 10 seconds after you first attacked the enemy. This means the entire effect takes 30 seconds to complete when you factor in the effect cooldown. There's two ways that you can earn a Tempesta weapon. The first is by visiting Jandy in Central City and exchanging seasonal points for the specific weapon you wish to receive, and the other is by defeating enemies that are marked with the seasonal icon, it's an ice cube. You will receive seasonal points by defeating these enemies, but you also have a small chance of actually looting a Tempesta weapon. Let's dive right into the damage calculations. If you have never seen this template, I will provide a link below so you can input your own data to provide the most accurate damage calculations for yourself. And in the previous video I explained exactly how you can make your own damage calculator, so go ahead and visit chapter 7 or 4 minutes and 40 seconds of that video. So lo and behold, the data calculations were true, and we did not receive a different potency from the previous elemental series, which is a huge bummer. Why? Well, this Tempesta series is over 20 attack weaker than the strongest of the 5 star meta, and that will make a huge difference in the damage calculations we are observing. First off, there's two Tempesta rows. The first one indicates the damage calculations for any monster that isn't weak to wind, therefore you're only receiving the 10% bonus from the elemental effect. The second row with the plus indicates the damage you would observe when attacking an enemy weak to wind and therefore you're receiving all 15% additional damage from the elemental effect. But these original calculations do not factor in the item potential's extra attack, and so from previous elemental weapon series, there was an observable 4-5% to DPS increase due to this effect. So let's go ahead and be generous and factor in 5% additional damage for these rows. Okay, and let's remove some unnecessary rows that I explained in detail in the previous video. And now let's go ahead and look at this chart. This first chart is showing when the level 21 series outdamaged a clean Tempesta weapon. And as you can see, all you need is a fix a 1 attack or fix a fatale 2 to outdamage the clean Tempesta series. And if you compare their clean stats, they're actually really similar. Next, we will see what fixa would you need on Tempesta to outdamage fixa 5 versions of the level 21 series. You would need a Fixa Attack 3 or Fixa Fatale 4 Tempesta to out damage the first 3 series, and you would actually do less damage than the first 3 series by quite a bit if you are fighting something that is not weak to wind. So what Fixa would you need to compare to the damage of a clean relic? As you can see, you would need a Fixa Attack 4 or Fixa Fatale 5 to compete with Relic. And this is once again only the damage calculated when fighting enemies weak to wind element. And this last chart is showing what the highest possible damage of Tempesta is and comparing it to Fixa 1 relics. As you can see, the damage is less than Agriaga weapons and they won't have the huge fall off of damage that Tempesta will experience when fighting against enemies that are not weak to wind. So where does the Tempesta series fit in the meta? Here's some of my thoughts. If you're looking for a weapon to serve as a PSE burst or combat zone option, I do believe that Tempesta could fit right here. The first three series offer few options for multi-weapons, and the item potential bonuses aren't that great when compared to Tempesta, offering an additional potency attack after 10 seconds. Elemental downs are also huge against some of the annoying enemies in lower level Makid. I'm looking right at you, Brankle. 
but it is serious. This can help you out a ton when farming in lower level Makid. Secondly, Tempesta weapons will also be a good option for purple triggers. The elemental downs that you will rack up due to the elemental damage type will be a huge benefit to your runs. We also know that purple triggers do not change element types during events, so your wind weapon will always be inf impactful here. And I should also mention Gigantics here, since they are weak to win, but unlike purple triggers, the Gigantics in the open world will change elements depending on the event, meaning Tempesta weapons will do less damage and not affect elemental downs during those events. So I feel like you only have two options when you're considering investing in Tempesta. If you're new and you're looking for a solid weapon to invest into for the next couple of months, I would suggest seeking a good Fixa 2 or Fixa 3 Griega. You'll have every multi-weapon option and you're not going to be penalized for attacking things that are not weak to wind. The other option is that if you already have a great weapon and you're looking to improve your purple trigger runs or you want to try and parse out some extra damage, you could invest into a high Fixa Tempesta weapon and add it to your damage rotation. A trick you can do with the Tempesta series, and any elemental series really, is use the elemental weapon for 10 seconds to get the item potential's additional attack. Once you see that damage apply, switch to your stronger weapon and attack for 20 seconds while Tempesta's item potential skill is on cooldown. Once this cooldown is over, return back to the Tempesta weapon and attack for 10 seconds. The upside is that you're applying elemental downs and receiving the item potential's bonus attack. This could improve your DPS if you are consistent on swapping weapon pallets. The downside here is that there is no in-game timer, so you would have to keep count outside of the game which could serve tiresome or just not consistently possible. But this is an end-game realistic option for investing into a Tempesta weapon. But at the end of the day, Griega is still going to be the most valuable option in terms of a single weapon setup. But don't completely ignore this series. You may be able to pick up a high Fixa attack or Fixa Fatale Tempesta for a bargain, and if you can, you shouldn't ignore it. At the end of the day, unless you're investing in a high Fixa Griega or a Fixa Relic, you are looking for a good value on your weapon. So keep your eye out for anything that looks cheap, and if it's Fixa Attack 4 or Fixa Fatale 4 or higher, you should consider it. <laughs>